To start off with, we're going to go ahead and click on the new button to create a new virtual machine. We're going to type in the name as FreePBX. We're going to choose the type as Linux and set it to other Linux 64 bit as they don't show up there. I'm going to set the RAM to about 2 gigabytes. I'm going to make a virtual hard disk that is going to be 20 gigabytes of size because I feel like that's about what we need. And that is it. We're going to go up to settings. Make sure you do this. Uh, you're going to go up to settings and go across to system processor. I'm going to set the execution cap to 50% so it only will use 50% of my CPU maximum. This is to stop um, the CPU going absolutely nuts. Um, we're going to choose the ISO file as the file there. Now you can download this file just by going to asterisk.org opening up the website and then by clicking on downloads and scrolling down and clicking on the download full ISO now button. Anyway, back to Oracle. We're going to go ahead and click on start. The VM's going to load up. We're going to select free PBX 15 recommended. And then you're going to select the fully automatic installation. I'm selecting something else right now because I'm an idiot, but make sure you select the fully automatic installation output to VGA. Make sure you do that. Um, now that, the fully automatic installation can take a long time, but make sure you select fully automatic. I'm an idiot and didn't select it, and well, I had to select it later. <laughs> Alright, now that we're performing the last setup, we're going to go ahead and reboot the system. Now here is where you should, so once you get this screen, you want to power off the virtual machine. Go down to optical drive and remove the disk from the drive. Even if you click on the boot from hard drive, it just fails to boot. We'll go ahead and click on start. And the virtual machine will now reboot. Except this time, we'll get this screen. So we're going to click on Sangoma Linux. So just press the enter key. Alright, so here you want to type in root as the login. And the password is Sangoma default password. After you've entered that, you will now spawn into the free PBX operating system. Now you can see the IP address is 10.2.10.0.2.15. Now we're going to have to change this because this is not going to be accessible from the browser. So I'm going to run a shutdown command. We're going to go up to settings. We're going to go to network and change the attached network adapter to bridge adapter and you can see that mine is set to the Netgear wireless dual band USB adapter for my desktop um, so that's the, that's the Wi-Fi dongle that I use for my desktop and you can see it's connected to Wi-Fi as the exact same Wi-Fi network we'll use to connect to the VM um, through the UI on the browser so go ahead and click start again start the VM up as the same as it, as same as it did before. Again, click on Sango Linux. Alright, log in with the same username and password. And now we'll come into the free PBX and you can see that we've got a 192.168.1.57 IP address. So now that we have that IP address, let's go ahead and punch it into our available browser. So we're gonna I'm gonna open up my Chrome browser. 
and I'm going to punch in 192.168.1.57. And you can see it's loading up the free PBX administration. So the username, I'm going to set my username to be admin. My password will be whatever I desire. So whatever you desire for a password or a username, choose what you want. Email address, sure. I'll leave the system identifier as VoIP server. And we'll go ahead and select system, a setup system. We're going to click on free PBX administration. We're going to put in those credentials that we had just got, and the credentials we just made from that previous screen. And we're going to log in with those credentials. I'm going to add them to LastPass too, because why not? All right, so here it's going to be like, welcome to your PBX. Thank you for installing free PBX. We're going to click on skip. We don't want to activate the system. We don't want to pay any money for this yet. So we're going to click skip, um, again here skip, and skip again, Do we get to here, which we're going to, I'm just going to click on submit, I don't think I'll change anything there. Alright, the Sangoma Smart Firewall is now enabled, well not yet, um, go ahead and click on abort on here, you don't really need this, to be honest, so I'm going to click on abort. Click on not now. And you have now successfully installed the asterisk open source PBX with free PBX. So if you really enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you definitely like the video, um, consider subscribing. Um, it's quite a pleasure making the content. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video on how to set up free PBX onto an Oracle virtual machine. I'll catch you in the next one.